Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today, I wanna to show you how you can upload your PowerPoint presentation to YouTube. Believe it or not, PowerPoint's actually a great tool to make YouTube videos. First, we're gonna prepare the presentation. We'll include some narration. We could even throw in our video so you could see yourself explaining some topic. And then we'll also set custom timings on the different slides. Once we do that, then we'll render the presentation or basically create a video out of your PowerPoint. I'll also show you how to create a custom thumbnail and then we'll upload all of that to YouTube. All right, let's jump on the PC and let's get started. Here I am in PowerPoint and I already have a presentation open and I wanna turn this into a video that I can upload to YouTube. One thing that'll really help us with this is adding a new tab on top called recording. This is gonna have a bunch of tools that we can use to add narration, to add custom timings, background music, and even to render the video. To add this tab, go over and hover over the ribbon and right click on that and then click on customize the ribbon. This will open up PowerPoint options and over on the right hand side, you'll see all the different tabs that you can add within PowerPoint. Towards the bottom, there's an option called recording. Let's click on this one and then click on OK. I now have a new tab up here in PowerPoint called recording and when I click on this, I have all of my different recording tools. This will once again really help us as we pull together our video. Now, first, I wanna add some narration to my PowerPoint presentation. I also wanna add some custom slide timings, and maybe for the fun of it, I'll even throw my video in. So as I'm explaining it, people can see me as I'm explaining it. On the recording tab, over on the left-hand side, there's the option to record the slide show. Here, if we click on the dropdown, you can start from the current slide or from the beginning. Now, I'll just simply start from the current slide. It also happens to be the beginning. This drops us into the record slideshow interface, and there's a lot of functionality here, so I quickly wanna to touch on what you can do with this screen. In the top left-hand corner, you have this big record button, and in a moment, we'll use that to record narration on top of these slides. In the center, you can expose your notes if you need a little bit of assistance as you're talking through it. Over on the right-hand side, you can choose the microphone, you can choose the camera that you wanna use. And then down below, we have all of the standard PowerPoint annotation tools. As part of this, I wanna include my video. Down here in the bottom right-hand corner, I can toggle my camera on. Hello, now you can see me, look at that. And I could also hide my preview if I don't like seeing myself as I'm explaining things, or I could show myself. And I don't mind having my video down there. It's good to just orient myself to where that video is. And over here, once again, I have all of my different annotation tools. So I'm now ready to record. So I'll go to the top left-hand corner and I'll click on the record button. Now, right now I see a countdown timer letting me know that the recording is about to start. So right now it's active. So here I could select my tools and here I could go in and I could point at things on my slide. I could also select the pen tool and I could annotate different things. So you could actually make this a very rich video with annotation. So it really makes it easy to explain things. Once I'm done explaining what's on this slide, I'll go over and click to advance to the next slide. One thing to be cautious of though, is when you advance to the next slide, that's going to kick off a separate recording. So your audio, your video, basically starts up a new recording on the next slide. So the thing to note is, let's say you're explaining a point on the first slide and it runs into the next slide. You wanna make sure that you pause or you stop before you click on advance and then continue the point on the next slide. Otherwise you'll get this weird cutoff. So I've gone through now, I've annotated my different slides and I'm all done. So I'll go to the top left-hand corner and I can now stop it. If I wanted to, I could also pause it, collect my thoughts and then continue. But for now, I'll click on stop. My recording's all done now and I can come back and I can replay it to see what it sounds like. I could also go and clear it if for whatever reason I was unsatisfied with my recording. But I think all of this looks good, so I'm gonna close this out. This now drops me back into the PowerPoint presentation and you'll notice a few things. My annotations continue to show up on the slide. Here I see my video in the bottom right-hand corner. Now I can take my video and I can move that around. So I could position it where I want. I could also adjust the size if I want my video to be larger or if I want my video to be smaller. Also, as I was clicking through my slides, PowerPoint kept track of the amount of time I spent on each slide. So in a sense, by recording it, you're also setting custom timings for your presentation. If you wanna review your recording, you could click up here on slideshow and right here, I could start the slideshow from the beginning timer letting me know that the recording is about to start. So right now it's active. All right, well that's looking pretty good so far. Let's click back into the recording tab to see what other functionality we have. 
Now we took a look at the record slideshow. That's how we added the narration, we added the custom timings, but you also have some other functionality too. Here, for example, I could insert screenshots. I could also record my screen. So let's say I wanna maybe demonstrate a game, or maybe I wanna record some steps that I'm taking in Microsoft Excel. I could do all of that with a screen recording. I could basically record anything that I can see on my screen. I could also insert a video, and here I can insert audio. You could also use this to insert narrations. Now, I do wanna show how you can also insert background music as part of your video. So here when I have audio selected, I'll select audio on my PC. Here, I'll select this song and then click on insert. Now that I've inserted this song, I can move it to a new position on the slide. I'll place it down there in the bottom left-hand corner. When I have this speaker icon selected, up here under the playback tab in that ribbon, I can select to play this in the background. When I select that, you'll notice that it modified some of these settings in the center. Here I can play it across slides. I could have it loop until stopped and I can have it so it hides that speaker during the slideshow. So this way now I can have background music play while I'm presenting. Let's test out to see how that works. So here I can select my tools and here I can go in and I can point at things on my slide. All right, well, that's all looking pretty good so far. So I have annotations, I have narration, I have my video, I even have some background music. Next, I wanna show you how you can render this so we can get it into a video format. Up on top, once again, let's go over to the recording tab. And all the way over on the right-hand side, we can export to video. Let's click on this. When you click on export to video, this brings us to the export screen and we have a few different options here. Right up on top, I can choose the quality that I wanna export as. And I can export all the way up to 4K. That's the best quality level. And I always recommend going with the best quality, so I'll select this one. Over here, you can select to use recorded timings and narrations. So if you remember, when we recorded our slideshow, as we advance through the different slides, PowerPoint remembered how much time we spent on each slide. So that's the recorded timing. You could also opt to not use the recorded timings and you could set your own time spent on each slide. Now I wanna take advantage of the recorded timings, so I'll leave that selected. Once you make all of your different selections, click on create video. This opens up a prompt where you can choose where you wanna save your video. I'm going to place mine on the desktop and I've titled it Employee Benefit Handbook. Down below, you can choose the save as type. You could save as either an MP4 or a Windows Media video. For YouTube, I would recommend uploading an MP4, so select that and once you're ready to go, let's click on save. Down below, you can see that the video is now rendering. So since we chose 4K, it's gonna take a little bit longer. So you'll have to wait a little bit before your video is ready. While the video is rendering, I wanna show you how you can create a custom thumbnail. You can create your thumbnail directly in PowerPoint. And I wanna use this slide as my thumbnail, but you could also create a separate slide and you could design that slide to be your thumbnail. The really nice thing is the YouTube thumbnail dimensions match the default slide dimension. So it makes it really easy for you. So here I have my slide ready to go. I'll go up to the top left-hand corner, click on file, and then click on save a copy. This opens up the save a copy prompt. And here, once again, I could type in a name for my thumbnail. Maybe I'll add some text that says thumbnail. Down below, by default, it's currently set to a PowerPoint presentation, but for a thumbnail, I need to get it into an image format. When I click on this drop-down list, I can save it as a GIF, a JPEG, or a PNG. These are three different formats that YouTube accepts. I'll select PNG, and once you're all done with that, let's click on save. Next, I get a prompt asking me which slides I want to export, and I just want this one slide to be my thumbnail, so I'll select just this one. I've now saved my thumbnail, and that's also ready to go. I just opened up the new PNG that I created and this looks great, that's my thumbnail. I can use this alongside my video when I upload it to YouTube. The video has now finished rendering and I now have an MP4 file with my PowerPoint presentation and I also have my thumbnail image. I'll click into the video just to make sure things look good. Now timer letting me know that the recording is about to start. So right now it's active. So here I can select my, all right, well, I think that looks pretty good. So it's time to upload this to YouTube. To upload to YouTube, head to youtube.com and in the top right hand corner, when you're signed in with your Google account, click on the create icon. This will drop down a menu, then click on upload a video. This opens up a prompt where I can drag and drop a video file in, or I could click here to select my file. I'll simply drag and drop my MP4 file over that I created in PowerPoint and I'll drop that over here. So now my video is uploading into YouTube. 
Here now I can type in details of this video. I could type in a title, I could type in a description. Here I'll click on upload thumbnail and I'll select the thumbnail that I saved in PowerPoint. Here's my thumbnail, I'll select this one and then click on open. So there you see my thumbnail now will be associated with this video. Alternatively, if I don't wanna create my own thumbnail, I could also choose a still from within the video itself. Here I could go through, I could choose a playlist, I could decide who the audience is, I could add tags, but for now I think all of that's fine, so I'll click on next. On the next screen, I could choose to add an end screen, I could add cards. You could even create an end screen in PowerPoint. Here I'll click on next and I'll run through all the different checks. This video is pretty safe, so no concerns here. I'll click on next and for the visibility, I could decide when I want it to publish. I could schedule it or I could decide that it goes live as soon as it finishes uploading. Here I'll set it as unlisted for now and then I'll click on save. And right now my video is still uploading, so I'll just hang out a little bit until that finishes. And it's all done uploading now, and it's currently processing the HD version. Over here under visibility, I could click on this drop down and I could set it to public. Here I'll click on publish. Also, when I hover over here, here I can click to view my video on YouTube. And here now I could see my video on YouTube. To share with others, I could come down below and I could click on share and now I could share out my link. All right, well, that's how you can use PowerPoint to create a video. Let me know down below in the comments, are you gonna use PowerPoint to create your next video? If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye.